will be when you come across half court. So I think that has to uh, put a few fears to bed right there. Turn around a little jump hook, 18. Arvidas Sabonis, his first. Long range jumper, no good, tipped around. Sabonis going way over. Jesse Farmer. One second left, he gets the shot off, and it's off. His team is running their offensive set tonight. Sabonis, turn around, off the glass for two. All right, there's no pressure on the wings on that pass, and Mitch just not being able to control the, uh, the rebound. Sardonis, one dribble into the lane. Arvidas Sabonis at the free throw line. Fresno State not scoring for the past couple of minutes. Farmore, short. 16 game U.S. Tour. This is game three on their travel. Bad pass by Menard. Bulldogs on the break. Bad. Bradley in the lane. Puts it up. No go. And the Soviets come down with it. And Boyd Grant is but still trailed by 12, 33 45. Sabonis on Farmore. Twists and puts it up. Arena Sabonis shooting uh, the free throws. Six points thus far. Very complimentary. Ronnie Anderson for the baseline. Has it blocked. Out within eight. Inside it goes. The little spin. But he has the penalty. Yes. And the foul is called. You have three shots to make two. Armour has it stripped away by Walters. Anderson with a turnaround, doesn't get it. Battle for the ball on the far side, and Sedonis. Cleve Lewis looks in for Ronnie Anderson. Anderson to the baseline, puts it up, and it's blocked. It was an excellent pass by, by Mitch. And the big seven-footer gets his wish, getting a slam one home. And the Soviet defender uh, will pop back up. Tyrone, Tyrone just getting out of the way there, no way. Looks inside for Arnold. Arnold spinning, pumping, doesn't get it, and the Soviets come away with it. Mario Ellis, back to Thompson. It's got the back of the game after they've gotten the rebound. Misses the second when the Soviets come in, doesn't quite get it. Anderson right there, staying with it, doesn't get it, it's blocked. Decided to come to Wichita State, that is P.J. Bernard Jackson with the ball, now Gilbert Wilburn, inside to McDaniel. <laughs> There's the alley oop to Sabonis, who buried it. See, Mark, this is right here. The Soviets lead it by seven with 4.55 remaining here first half. Gerard open for 20. Automatic. He's got four. Inside two minutes. 1.55 to go first half. Yeah, good job by McDaniel tracking it down. Here comes Gary Cundiff, the freshman out of his Soviet zone. That's what Gundam does. He makes the, the rhythmic staccato applause. There's the opening jump for the second half. Aubrey Sherrod controls for the Shockers. Bounce pass to McDaniel again. Inside to Bella Stenyi. Too strong. Quality shot. Wilburn right there. Nice heads up play by the freshman. Ahead to Sherrod. There come the Shocks. Gerard left baseline. Penetration. Nice pass to Gerson. Jericho's got six. Great pass for the other way. Jackson took it away. He'll go all the way. A dish to Sherrod. About a 12-footer short. Aubrey right there to follow. Jackson will set it up. No, Sherrod will try it. And get it. Well, that first shot was just too short. Well, Bernard did a fine job. And, and you've seen it. They have to put a lot of pressure on the basketball. And that ball goes inside. They must all collapse and surround the ball. The 9,000 and so partisans on their feet. We're rocking at the roundhouse. Nine seconds to go. Soviets inside to Bella Stenyi, the hook. Missed it. The battle underneath. Ball out of bounds. Shocker ball. One again. I believe time is out. Time has expired. This basketball game is over. Wichita State, a major upset, has handled the Soviet national team their first defeat on this American tour.
Robinson penetrates, puts up the jumper, short from 15. Walters, fast break down to Kamikas, to Yavisha, and Kamikas gets the layup. Good break. Kamikas did a good job that time. Occupy. I ever saw him. We've got a guy coming. Pete Newell is going to talk to us a little bit about that. But I think they've got a lot more flair now, and there's a lot more. Kitchell inside as it knocked out of his hands. Gets it back. Whitman. Whitman gathered himself nice. These three guard forward type guys that can handle the ball in the backcourt. The Soviet Union not in any trouble. Beautiful Great shot. Great move. Walters off balance, off the wrong foot. Got it to go. Kitchell in the corner. Kitchell passing. Turn it over again. Walters down to Kamikas. Beautiful break. Basket by Benham Change, and that's what we have now. Well, they've got both 7-2 guys in there again. Tony Brown buries on the conference to be reckoned with national. 68-65, pass stolen by Brown. Ballestini gets it back and puts it through. Great play. Soft touch. Great touch. It's a double team. Nice job by Walters. Biryakov puts it up and hits it. Now that's the one thing that Biryakov can do. The Soviet Union getting a lot of confidence right 17-year-old Soviet giant, 7'2", Arvidas Sabonis, who demonstrated his awesome skills against Indiana University. And second... ...to be an interesting matchup. Again, I'm Scott Hatch, and here we go. Of course, the international game, shots at the basket for them. Good balanced position. Jovica against Mullen. Good drive on the inside fence, and I believe intimidated it. Well, there's five seconds left on the shot clock. Wilson giving this side to Mullen. And Sarbonis has it. Soviet Union trailing Virginia. We are just underway here from Richmond, Virginia. Here's Homitis. Homitis to fall in and lost Sampson. We played about two and a half minutes in the game. The pass to Sampson. He rolls it in. There's a foul. Uh, a 61% people here. Pressure. And Virginia leads by 10 points at 12 to 2. Here's Yovice at long range. The bonus underneath, and as he goes up, he is fouled. Ralph to turn Ralph intimidated the shot both times. Good play by Sabonis to come right back. Sabonis is the leading scorer on the not a lot of points here in the early going. Sabonis will try to make it 12 to 4. This is Robinson. No place to go. So a nice pass to Jimmy Miller. The bonus has it for the sole opportunity to get it, but it's a great play. Stokes could find him, the smallest player in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Stokes' is shot taken down, out of the air by Sabonis. Hampson, here's a steal, and very quickly the international rules take over. Richmond all, almost all got caught sleeping there, Virginia did right away. Sampson high to clear the boards and says, enough against Ralph Sampson. So go, notice he really wants to get Ralph up in the air. Ralph still in good position, he waits, he's very patient though. Find Bellis Baldwin. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The bonus, the 18 year old. <laughs> Can't be that. Game for the Soviet Union. Sergey Yavice to sit down, take a rest. Lambiot saw an opening and took it in. Miller was battling with the bonus for the rebound. However, the Soviets come up with it. Here's Balters. Homitis. Homitis in trouble. He's cut off. He goes back to Balters. Into the left And for the Zara. Walters had not seen a lot from him tonight. The bonus, the big 7-2. Into there, you can put one point in the last two minutes. Then it comes to Ralph Sampson. And Ralph is really short on that shot. Mullen, here the Sampson. And Sampson let it roll off his way. 37-29. The Soviets can really come close on this one, Sabonis. So it's probably a bad foul by Mullen in that situation. Mortis has one more shot, and uh, under international rules, three to make two. To Yovaisha. Balters doesn't shoot often. A basketball player, one of the leading scorers in the Soviet League. So he's showing us why. And he was one of the fine players in America, and he showed play. Alert play by Miller to trail him at just the right distance as well. Fine play by Virginia. Inside, rifle pass. The good position was trying to kick it back out, and Sabana's got a hand on it. Here's Robinson inside against Derry Ugin. Samson has it underneath. He likes that. Samson. Robinson may be a little bit of a travel there, but he gets the ball up on the board. Samson pushes Sabonis out of the way, gets the ball. Now watch him. He'll come up. He gets slapped by Yavisha, and I believe they probably called the foul on Ball. Camp Needland. 
to Wilson. Miller trailing. He likes this shot, but that one's off. Sabonis, the young 17-year-old thing we haven't seen too much of tonight. Wilson will hit that all night. Samson. And the Soviets maintain control. Walters looks short on that shot. Sabonis there is over Samson, and he lays it in. Eight points. For He's just at 7-2. He might be a little too big for Robinson to guard one-on-one. -on -one. I believe so. Sabonis and Villasinia in the game. This is Sabonis. And the big man. Here's Robinson. Samson not moving against. Uh, now he is. As the pass comes in. This has been a good shot if he was on balance. But he's running at full speed. Then he stops and jumps backwards. Wilson feeding off to Merrifield. Who is just as well. He's bobbling in the, as he went up. It was not a good shot. Evelyn, nice bounce pass into Robinson. There's that play. I believe they will call that a pain right, right at the time you do it, but then you're okay just moments later. So here's Biryakov against Carlisle. Samson high and tough right now. Cavaliers 71, Soviet 65. Dan Merrifield, good move in there. Merrifield, not enough uh, oomph. This sucks. I'm impressed. Boy. Every time Virginia seems ready to pull away, the Soviet Union comes right back. Here's another steal. Here's Sabonis. Arvita Sabonis against Samson, looking for Belasigne. Uh, now Samson has uh, just a bit of it remaining. Sabonis with 10 points. He's got one more free throw. Fine save by uh, Balsam. Here's Sabonis. And he kisses it off the window. Fine one shot. One to be soaked. To Wilson. Samson. Bielasinia on him. And Samson goes over him. The bonus. Good rebound. Out to Walter. Hey, this is uh, Biryakov against Carlisle. Homichus into the bonus against Miller. A mismatch. And the Soviet. Virginia jumped out two to nothing and then uh, took off. The bonus. Here's the shot. He liked that one. The differential between the real clock and the clock time. Here's Balsers, not a good shot. Three point, Virginia lead now. We've played a minute in overtime. Here's Balsers, Samson is there. The Cavaliers in overtime have the lead. The bonus is wide open, and you can't leave him out there. Kind of that. Every time you figure the Soviet Union is out of the game, they come crawling right back, and they're going to be down by two when Sabanis is finished here at the line. Most likely, and uh, remember, they've had two technicals here and a Cassell Wilson in some tall timber inside Samson with a fine play his own rebound and if there's not a boy there's not a foul at all in there but Sabonis comes out with it some struggle with the Soviet Union it's tied at 84 and we're in our first overtime they leave Wilson alone he hit that shot earlier tonight but not this time great block out by Sabonis he got in the second hand Tahanyenko who just hit a fine oh. shot good move inside Samson goes high for the rebound, and we have a whistle and a jump ball on the inside. Miller hit the floor, and there you see just about the, the rest of one toss usually in a game. They haven't tossed the ball in a year. <laughs> Samson, 10 seconds, 9. We'll just let you watch it. Here's Sabonis inside. Samson intimidated him. Samson's got the one team in the world. They won the World University game in the Cali, Colombia earlier this year. The ball, and you can't have that in the international rules. In the play phase, it's the maximum you can get. Then you have a foul inside yeah. The score is 86-84. We're in our second overtime period. It's 4.07 remaining here in this second overtime. Sabonis now pulls the Soviets to within a point. It is 86-85. It is tied again. On November 20th, 1982, the Boilermakers took a major step forward in their journey to the top of the basketball world. For on that day, they would represent the United States by playing the national team of the Soviet Union. The rugged Russians had demolished the previous opponents in their American tour, and the Purdue players and coaches knew that they would have to play flawlessly to defeat the Soviet Olympic team. As expected, the game became a classic matchup of quickness and strength. Playing for school pride and national pride, the Purdue team was determined not to get out muscled under the boards. All Big Ten center Russell Cross, who has since joined the pro ranks, played an inspired game, scoring 15 points and collecting 12 rebounds. 
Led by number 21, point guard Ricky Hall, the Boilers played an opportunistic game, forcing turnovers and charging down court before the Russians had a chance to set up their defense. Two minutes and 19 seconds left in the clock. Purdue was ahead by six. But Coach Katie knew that the Russian team would be at its best when under pressure. Sure enough, the Soviets pulled within one point until Steve Reed hit a corner jump shot with less than a minute left. But the Russians surged ahead again, and Purdue would have only one chance left to win or lose. last-second clutch jump shot stunned the Russians and ignited a celebration in West Lafayette that will be remembered for years to come. For Coach Katie, it was vivid proof that his young squad could successfully compete against the best teams in the nation and the world. For the Purdue coaching staff, the most important thing is for the players to be successes on the court and in life.